add image placeholders to Google Slides to create a template or framework for your students to work with. Let's get started with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, the first thing you'll have to do is jump into Google Slides. And you can see I have Google Slides open here. And on these first two slides, I have an example of these image placeholders. You can see there is a round placeholder here. And on my second slide, there are two different placeholders. How do you create this? Well, in order to create this, we're going to first of all, create a new Google slide, and then we're going to jump into the theme. So let's do that together. I'm going to go to file and create a new slide. So new presentation. Once I'm in my slideshow, before I do anything else, the first thing I'll do is go to the top and click on slide. Here I can find a theme at the bottom and I'm going to edit this theme. Now I can start changing the way these slides look for this theme. So let's start by adding a title theme. So this will be our presenter screen. So we're going to move this up a little bit. Let's just move that up. This is what that will look like. We're going to remove the subtitle. I'm going to add in a shape. So let's go ahead and use a circle shape. There we go. As you can see, it's an oval, but when you hold down shift, it turns into a perfect circle. All right, let's give our circle a fill. Let's give it a border color and then a border width. Okay, so let's say that I want an image placeholder inside this circle for our presenters to put their own pictures. Well, we can go here to insert. And now I'm going to go all the way to the bottom where it says placeholder. Here you can select an image placeholder. Now we have a rectangle, rounded rectangle and an oval placeholder. So let's go ahead and draw that now. Again, we're going to press shift to make sure we have a perfect circle. Let's go of that placeholder and pop it right there in the middle. Now, in addition to this, you can also give this a border. So we're going to give it a border weight. So let's just go with this yellow, maybe a bit thicker. There we go. Now we will have our first placeholder. And let's say that this second slide is going to have two images. We're going to just move this up and again, go to insert placeholder. And now we can insert two different placeholders. I'm just going to pop this on the left. We just duplicate that and move it to the right. This is now our second slide. So we now have two slides as part of our theme that use image placeholders. We're good to go. So let's go ahead and close this. We're going to close the theme window and we're going to click on the little X here to close our theme. And whenever I go to this plus icon in the top left corner, I can add in those other slides that I've just created. So for example, I can add in the second slide, which has two image placeholders. Now, how do these image placeholders work? Well, they allow you to simply click on it and then replace it with an image. So let's quickly search the web, look for an image of a tiger. There we go. That image can go in there. We're going to click on replace and the image will automatically be cropped to fit that placeholder. Same for the second one, search the web. Let's find another image of a tiger. There we go. Click on replace and it automatically fits within that area. Same for our presenter tab here, for example, this round image placeholder. Let's go ahead and click on that. Upload from computer. And here we go, we can upload that image. Now, as you can see, the image doesn't quite fit within that crop. So what we can do then is we can simply go back to that image placeholder, double tap it, and we can adjust the crop just like this. We can even change the size of that picture to make sure that the crop fits within that placeholder. You can use this for many different things. You can use it for reflection documents for your students. Maybe you're using it for some planning documents where they're planning out their project. Maybe you've got writing planners. Maybe they're planning their writing and they take a picture of their draft, upload it to that placeholder, and then another placeholder for the final piece of work. We've got design journals, perfect for design journals. You can have lots of different image placeholders for the different steps in the design thinking framework. Maybe there's a class presentation taking place and you want to give them a little bit of guidance and just give them a template with a couple of image placeholders that will then enable them to create the best presentation possible. Now, once you've created a couple of these templates, I would love to see them in that comment section below. So show us some examples of what you've created using image placeholders in Google Slides. Now, I can't wait to see some of the templates created by this community. I'll be checking out those links in the description below. 
In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.